Is on the ground? Yeah. Going forward. Other side of that white. Yeah. And then now, 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 all right, guys, boat's launched. We're out here fishing today with my good buddy Ben Adams here, long-time addicted supporter who just got this fine machine of a drift boat. So what we're going to do today is go and try to catch a steelhead first because that's what we do as fishermen. But honestly, we're going to do a little plug pulling, some different stuff, and try to get this guy a little more acquainted with this drift boat. So this episode's not going to necessarily be all about catching fish necessarily but it's going to be about how to maneuver drift boats down the river some of the safety things that you kind of want to look for as a new river rower just to get you guys all tuned up and then also like some of the techniques and strategies for like approaching holes anchoring in spots and then maybe like um, you know basically try to avoid spooking the steelhead you catch when you're rowing one of these big massive things down the river so should be a lot of fun um, doesn't look like the river's too crowded today. It's kind of early season. You know, we're just getting out here, getting warmed up, which is actually going to be my first suggestion that if you guys are going to be like out here, like trying to learn, trying to get acquainted with your drift boats and your new rafts and whatnot, that you don't do it when it's real busy because it takes the pressure off. You don't have people coming in behind you. And honestly, it just kind of alleviates a lot of the stress of the situation because you can kind of work through things and do things at your own pace and your own time. So well, we're going to head down here and the first hole's looking awfully juicy, and I think we need to pull over, try to get a fish. You got us down the first run. Got us, got us down the first run. What do you yeah. feel? Uh, I'm excited. It's uh, been a long time coming to get a drift boat and get out, so mm -hmm. I'm excited for the day. So now, row to the right side so you don't spook these steelhead coming up. So push over to the trees. <laughs> mm, bag of tricks. Got some bait. You use a little bait on this river. You need any of this stuff for your jigs? Yeah, you're the guy. Out? You tell me. What? Wait, you're the guy. This is your boat, man. This ain't my boat. I don't get to tell you what to do in here. Hey, ain't my river either. <laughs> <laughs> Got some little eggums here. I think those will fit. I think those will fish pretty good. And had to go to the old addicted store last night because let's just say the fishing hasn't been too bad, but had to definitely. Uh, load back up on some i think we're gonna go peachy shrimp now this run it's definitely a run that the fish can lay on the inside too so but they can lay anywhere in here and the idea is that we're gonna sit here and maybe take the opportunity to fish this spot just in case there's a fish and then roll some plugs through it so it's also a really good plug run but we're gonna fish it with some floats first Not like they normally do. No, that's deep enough, but I would definitely see my line right there. Uh -huh. That's really the line. Like they will lay on this inside, but it's a lot clearer than it kind of seems. We're going to christen this boat today. Somewhere. Should be christening it right there. No love. No love on the eggs. I think we're gonna go a little black and red action. I'm gonna shave this guy down a little bit. They always put a lot of material on these jigs, but I like to trim them down just a little bit, especially in these clear water. That looks good. Mother Earth, break it off. Terra firma. Did you lose it all? Oh, uh, you did. Okay, so first lesson. What, I'll, what I would do, so this is a 50 pound braid, which is fine for your main line, but next time tie like a 20 pound bumper that your fixed float will slide on and then put a tiny little size seven barrel swivel right there, right? And this way I can fish like a little, like I got a little 10 pound floral leader, just tip on the end of that. I'll break this off every time. I'll save my bobber every time. The only time I'm going to get rid of that swivel on that main line is if I'm fishing something stupid, tiny, super pressured. But in this kind of water, that little setup there. And then when you break your little leader off, it, you're never going to lose another fixed float again. Like ever. <laughs> 
Okay, so I think we're gonna pull plugs in here. So we're gonna row up this left side up to the soft part yeah. and anchor there and then let our plugs go through. Yeah, we're gonna row up to the top, make sure we're setting above the, where we think the fish are, push through them, and then make sure we work them all the way out where you see it rippling right there. Okay. So, so we're gonna back them sort of into a corner. You're gonna go the whole, exactly, back okay. into the corner, make them strike. Uh, you can walk those on there. So with Fulbies, see how you have a wall and you have the piece that moves? Yeah. You always have the wall to the pressure. Okay. So just watch these things. That's how yeah, they, that's how you lose rods if you don't do it that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then balance the boat too. And then what we we're gonna take the opportunity here. A lot of times you don't get to do this. <laughs> so when you are deploying your plugs, you have the chance to anchor up and you can. You can set the plugs, get everything fishing, pull the anchor, and then start into your back troll. We gotta balance this a little bit. Alright, time to deploy. We're shooting into the bank, you need to get square on the current. No, 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 you need to get back. There you go. Back it up. Okay. It's going to be a lot more that way now. Pull back, pull back. Hopefully the line's in the angle. Anyway, just get steady. You got to kind of, you're going to want to just kind of find the feel of it. You don't want to think, there you go. And so like when I'm actually like on it like this and I'm pulling into it, it's about shoulder width because you don't want your arms off to the side when you're digging hard. So honestly, they're pretty set. So we decided to change it up a little bit. Just gonna row down this one. I wanted to see exactly where these oars were set. And when I'm in like full stroke, you don't want them inside your shoulders. Now see, I got these two rocks in the middle. I don't want to hit them. I'm thinking I can skate right between the two that are on the right and the one that's curling the water on the left. And see, I'm keeping my nose right out where I do not want to go. Couldn't stroke there because it got a little shallow. Peeling back a little bit farther now. Just slide right through. All right, so we pulled over here to give Ben a little break. Like I said, we're kind of just doing a little feeling out the drift boat going down the river, but this rapid coming up is going to be the first one that he actually has to negotiate a little bit of trouble. He's going to need to kind of go down to the right because there's a little gravel shoal on the left and then he's going to need to get all the way left or he's going to leave half this half this metal on these shiny rocks down below so you ready for your first test the brand new life jackets so brand new life jackets <laughs> gotta get you got our life jackets on first thing on safety right so let's uh let's negotiate this and see how we do might be some bumping and grinding here Trained professional already. Kept his nose a little bit to the bank that he was gonna get pushed in, couple boulders, kept his nose pointed at it so if he wanted a backstroke, he could peel away from it instead of getting wedged against it. Maybe now we can catch a fish. He has no idea what we're talking about. I can't hear, I can't hear you. <laughs> I have five kids and they scream in my face all the time. <laughs> There's nobody fishing here, kind of shift into the right. You want it. We're gonna anchor up, I think just before that grass bank on the right. Like so, forward stroking. Like those fish, if they're laying in there, they're gonna be like right there. Now it's a little shallower on this right, so you might, if you can shift over a little bit, but you'll probably be okay. You might bump here in a second. You might. There you go, that's good. Perfect, you got it. But you notice how that boil immediately grabbed that back in and went that. Like, yeah. Kind of what you want to avoid, because if there was a little more velocity there, right there, it would have picked you up and just kept popping you into the wall. And then you putting rod tips on and denting up your pretty nice little boat here. That was really good. 
Now I'll just force stroke out of this because we need to get down to some steelhead water and catch yeah. a damn fish. Literally, I go, Ben, that was a perfect anchor spot, and I threw out my bobber and it drained. <laughs> drained it. Little Cromer jumping around down there. First cast through. Way to go, way to be, way to stay off the water and stay off to the side. We should be able to manhandle him here. Go Cromer, hopefully. Might be an old summer. Nice little winner. Yes, get him, bring him up. Perfect, off the rods, off the rods. That's him, there he is. that's him. <laughs> yes. Nice. Man, we were working for that one, rolling down the river, you guys. Nice hatchery, winter steelhead, little perfect bullet. The boat has been christened. There is blood. Got that little addicted advantage hook. Look at that thing. Just pinned right in him. Hatchery fish. Not the biggest thing in the world, but you know what? On a day like today, early season, take we'll it. take him. And man, thank you, Ben. You, you put me on a fish. Hey. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah, I'm glad I could uh, repay the favors. So. Look at that. This is fresh as they get, too. To the side. Awesome, perfect little, in the words of Jordan, specimen. Perfect, perfect specimen. specimen. <laughs> awesome, dude. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm under, I'm under. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was a fish, dude. That thing was just boom, 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 under the water. I see right where, it, it was right at that little black spot. Oh, oh my God. Uh, it's fish, it's fish. I got I got another one, got another one, got another one. Oh my gosh. I totally almost farmed that off for you guys. My bobber went down, it got right into the tail out. I'm like, that has gotta be the bottom. It's fish. Surprise. I cannot believe I almost did that. And I always tell a client, every time clients get in my boat, I say there's a couple rules on the boat. Rule number one, don't go swimming. Rule number two, don't hook the guide. And rule number three is every time the bobber goes down, treat it like it's a damn fish because you never know. And then I might've just farmed off. I haven't seen this thing yet. You might end up farming off. Oh, it's a bright one. It's a bright one, boys and girls. Let's see what we got here, Ben. Oh, it's a little better fish. Oh, a lot better fish. Oh, it's a dime piece. It's a dime piece, rolling. Oh, is he a wild? You probably have a bump on there, guys. Might be a while. Good job. Thanks, Make sure it is a big fish. I don't want to bring it in too hot. Nope, Let's take a quick look at him, guys. Oh, it's a nice wild fish. Nice wild fish. Oh! Perfect. Holy crap. Unfortunately, like right there, we kind of thought we just caught a hatchery fish. So. You know, we, maybe there's a little school of hatchery fish in here and we wouldn't have to net him, but you know, we had to take the shot on the net job because he presented it, but once we wanted to double check, and that's why it's real important to double check and make sure that it's a hatchery fish before you bring him in the boat. Because once I bring him in the boat, he's gonna go nuts. He's gonna hit his head against the side of things. There's a lot that can happen to that wild fish. So once I saw his wild fish, I was just trying to flip him out of the net and just let him go. The hook hung up in the net and he took off. So it's a, uh, Good release, can't really do much with them right here. And honestly, I don't think we wanted to row to the bank and get that wild, pretty shot. And I'd rather just kick him out and get back to fishing. So, Ben. Hey. Let's Thank you, it. dude. I like, I kind of like this end of it. Maybe I should just hire guides all the time. Take you fishing. <laughs> what do you think, Alex? You think we should do that? Just, yep. We already kind of do, don't we? Yep. <laughs> Man, this is, this is like a guide service with a smile kind of thing. I mean, I feel kind of like Marlin right now. I'm gonna just sit here and stuff my face since I got a couple fish. Got Captain Ben hooking it up. I should, like I said, I gotta do this a little more often. I am so sorry. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. You want me to you want me to I ate Ben's lunch and then I gave Ben the the hole for a little bit. What the heck is going on? He's like, a, he's like a steelhead, only smaller, so he can take it off. Oh, that 
that's oh, a wild, that's a wild. Too. Now that we've seen that this one was a wild, I don't really want to dead it. So this is kind of cool, guys. So, you know, we caught a fish and we identified it was a hatchery and we netted it. And now this one, the second fish, we couldn't see that it was a wild before we netted it, but we had a chance to net it. And this one, this third fish kind of gave us this opportunity where it came up and we saw that he's got the adipose. So honestly, I'm just going to kind of like see if we can kind of like let him go. He's got that, probably that advantage D though, stuck right in his feet. So, kind of leaving this fish a little bit. Come here, bud. So look at that, look at that hook. It's just right in his beak. Nice little wild. You know what? We weren't going to go to the bank for a picture. I don't need another picture of a nice little wild steelhead, but gave me a nice fight. Wasn't a hatchery fish. We don't want to leave the hole, so we got the opportunity to identify that it was a wild. We weren't going to put the net on it. I got a pretty heavy leader. I'm using some 10 pound here, so that fish wasn't 10 pounds. So I was able to kind of manhandle him. Pop the hook out. Now guess what? Throw a bead on there and go fishing again. Sorry, Ben. Thanks for being a great guy. Hey. <laughs> You're in that good line. You are right where you're at because there's a dark spot and it's right there. Oh, come on, eat it. What's that? What's that? What was that? What? Uh, maybe. It's like right in there. Oh, that was a fish, dude. Look at your spawn sack. I <laughs> smashed it. So if it gets in their mouth and they, they clamp on it, it'll just crush those eggs. That spawny is flat. Mm -hmm. you, you got milk, bro. What do you got? It's a oh, fish. It's a fish. fish. It's a fish. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Benny boy. The magic speed. I don't know if you guys saw that at home, but like two casts prior, he had a really good bobber down, and the bobber chugged a little bit of the water, and he came up empty. So that two casts later, Ben's gonna crisp in his boat again. I'm gonna get that net. It's a wild. I can see it already. Darn it. What a lot of little wilds in here today. All right, Ben, bring me that leader here. Oh, perfect. Leader's all chewed up. She rocked your world. Was that the best thing ever? That was, uh, that's a lot of fun. I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, the question is, was there two fish in there or did you just hook the one? Did she just try to take it two shots at that bead? Well, what is it? You don't leave? fish to find fish? No kidding. We rode a long way and we've been fishing a long way down and it does just go to show like, yeah. we fought, cool. I don't, the fish have been jumping on the gear and we covered a lot of water and we fished and we, we might have messed up some spots like anchoring up and trying to get a little closer to them but finally found a spot that had some fish that actually wanted to play and it's pretty obvious that I don't think we were running into a lot of fish but there's just a good school in there. Yeah. 10 seconds later. Okay so Welcome to the river, Ben. As you can see, we are now stuck in a precarious situation. We're on some rocks. We do this um, to help other guys. We want to make sure that we knew it was a good day. Okay, that's a lie. So what happened here, now that we've got a moment to just sit and chill and think about our situation that we are in, is the river kind of comes down and splits over this shoal, but there's enough water running down over the top of it and kind of threading through these rocks and then there's some current right some current left what happened there is Ben had the boat kind of the momentum of the boat going from right to left and by the time we got to the point where he needed to correct this current had already grabbed him and committed him in here and then of course well you didn't see it on camera but then we got sideways the cardinal sin is when you get sideways in a rapid and you hit something you hit it pretty damn hard so now what we're going to do is I think I'm going to have you stay in the rower seat. And if you're ever in this situation where you're stuck, you don't want the current hitting the side of the boat. So I'm either going to move the front of the boat into the current or the back of the boat. So obviously since we're spun 180 degrees, I'm going to grab the front of the boat and just see if I can, I mean the water is only a foot deep. And I'm just going to use it as a pivot point and see if I can pull it, peel us off the rock and then maybe work us down in this water. So stay in the rower seat so if you have to grab it, and I'll see if I can manage this off these rocks here. And like Ben said, we're doing this for you guys. So I got the, the nose into the current, and I'm going to be the pivot. I'm going to try to see if I can work it off these rocks here. Actually, it's sliding off super easy. I'm going to get it out to where when I hop in, Ben, the boat's going to spin pretty quick. Because I'm just kind of holding it in the current. 
And actually, Alex, do me a favor, jump on that side. There we go, because I'm gonna enter this side. So when I let it go, you're gonna spin the boat nose this way and peel right out of here. <laughs> oh, there you go. But for all that excitement there, go look up, look up and see where we got snagged off. See how that water kind of skips you through those rocks? Just kind of committed us a little early. And just be told with the, the velocity that the river's at today, it's kind of a good day to kind of come up here and kind of learn and figure that stuff out. You know, you don't want to be trying this stuff out on a raging river because there was a lot of water sifting through there. Might make it more of a kind of a pucker situation. A little more interesting, so probably put a little dent in the boat, but whatever. She's got scars. It's a drift boat. That's right. All right, guys, we're rolling off the river, and you know we go down and find like one little pot of fish and rode a heck of a long way. I fished this river two days ago and found a couple fish nowhere near where we found them today. So that's how steelheading goes. But we got a little drift boat time, and Ben just decided to hit that log on the way down. I don't know why. Just figure one more little saving, like a little, little touch on the river. That's right. But we got some real good stick time on a day where the water's, you know, kind of low and it's early season. And honestly, like there's nobody fishing today. So I think every fish we got was kind of a bonus. It's just awesome running into one little shot of fish right there. So it was excellent. Now we got to put this thing on the trailer and see how many dents are in it. <laughs> Might be a few. Could be a couple. right there. Maybe you got her christened a little bit. <laughs> Put a dent in there. All right, guys. Well, a little bit of a different video today, a little more of a, let's just get it down the river and show you guys a little bit of some of the ins and outs and how we want to kind of like approach different runs and how we're going to use the drift boat to hopefully catch a steelhead, which we got lucky and did today, because as you can see, this place is an absolute ghost town. But if you guys like this video and you want to see more, be sure to check out this next upcoming video right here in this corner. Also, if you guys have not subscribed, as always, like and subscribe. Comment of the day. We'll see you guys next time.